What are those dark patches? This one is Mare Humorum, the Sea of Humors. And this, a great bay opening into the Sea of Showers, Mare Imbrium. Here, the northern rim of Mare Imbrium, with, above, the dark crater Plato, and to its right, Alpine Valley. Mare Imbrium is the dark terrain on the right, contrasting with the brighter uplands. It's 1,300 kilometers wide, but Mare aren't oceans. They're basins, gouged by impacts. Here comes the big one that formed Mare Oriental. Post-impact, lava welled from beneath and cooled into a sea of dark rock, a mare. Such major impacts suddenly stopped 3.9 billion years ago. Nearly a billion years later, volcanic activity also ceased as the moon's interior cooled. But smaller impacts continued to pockmark the lunar surface. Craters proliferated. The Copernicus Crater, a quartet of craters, Clavius, with younger craters inside. This moonscape records impact after impact. No water or wind erodes them. No atmosphere lessened their force. All that erodes old craters are new craters. The youngest craters are surrounded by splashes of bright ejecta, such as this. Like pebbles hitting mud, ray craters are the brightest features on the moon. Around the rims of big impact basins, mountains are thrown up. These are the Apennines. The moon has clefts and rifts, channels where lava once flowed. What is gravity like on the moon? With 81 times more mass, our planet is very much the senior partner in the Earth-Moon system. Lunar gravity is one-sixth that of Earth. Witness the antics of the 12 Apollo astronauts who landed there over 30 years ago. With no air resistance, they showed how a hammer and feather fell at the same speed. <laughs> 